In this video, I'll be showing you how to edit your astrophotography photos going from this to this. Let's get right into it. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Christian Tejada and in this video, I'll be showing you how to edit your astrophotography photos. If you haven't already watched the first video of how I was able to capture these photos, then please go ahead and watch it. I'll leave a link right up here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, guys. So for this tutorial, we'll be using Lightroom Classic and Photoshop. So if you don't have that software, then please go ahead and download it. Otherwise, please try to follow along using whatever software you have. Usually what I do as soon as I start is I'll remove chromatic aberration and enable profile correction. And this helps us remove any of that distortion caused by the lens. Next. I go up here and I try to adjust the white balance and the white balance, uh, you can do this to your liking, to your preference. Um, I like a dark sky, so I'll just go ahead and kind of pull this down to the blues, uh, maybe right around here. Uh, and then we'll add a little bit of warm color to it. I don't really like to set my Milky Way to look super blue. Uh, I don't think the sky is blue <laughs> at night, so, um, you know, you can adjust this to your liking, but I like keeping the sky as dark as possible. Next, we'll scroll down to the tone curve. I tend to just pull up the highlights just a bit, so I'll set an anchor point here and another anchor point right around here, and I'll just pull up some of these highlights, maybe right around here and we'll come back to it we can make adjustments as we go so next I'll come back up to the tone section here uh, and I'll start adjusting exposure uh, so clearly the photo is too dark so I'm just gonna pull up the exposure maybe about one here so we can already start to see the Milky Way over here uh, and then we're gonna bump up the contrast as well just to make the Milky Way pop and soon you'll see I'm going to add an adjustment brush and just kind of brush over the Milky Way and add even more contrast so that the Milky Way sticks out. Next we're going to pull our highlights down and we're going to pull them down maybe right around here uh, and the reason why we're doing that is because we're going to pop our whites right now uh, and if we have the highlights too high, then the image looks a little overblown. So I'm going to pull up the whites and you can already see the whites, the stars coming out. I'll zoom in here so you can see that. Um, so yeah, we're just going to hold uh, option on a Mac and just try to get those whites creeping through so we can see all these stars. And that looks pretty good to me. Uh, and then we're going to pull our blacks down, blacks as well. We don't want to see, we don't want the image to be too blown out. So I'm going to pull my blacks down to right around here. Uh, so this is already looking so much better. Um, and next, we're going to go down to this presence section. And we're going to add a little bit of vibrance over here just to kind of bring up those colors you can already see that looking pretty good um, and then saturation we'll just pull it down just a touch um, so yeah just remember guys this is all preference so feel free to adjust as you like um, i think with astrophotography it's best to add your own flair uh, to the images so next we'll be adjusting the colors so let's go ahead and do that i like to bring out some of the reds so i'm gonna pop the saturation up a bit for the reds uh, the blues as well we're gonna add just a bit of saturation there just to bring those blues out uh, i don't really like the green here so i'm going to just kind of desaturate that and bring it over to the dark area here maybe right around there just to kind of get rid of that green and then the purples we're also going to 
bring up saturation on that. And we're gonna make those a little brighter. And then you can see some of the purples here. Also bring up the magentas. Make those a little brighter. And that looks pretty good to me. All right, next we're gonna add our adjustment brush and we're going to just kind of color in where the Milky Way is. So the Milky Way goes right through here and we're just kind of brushing that in just like that. And then this allows us to kind of see, you can see here that I just kind of colored in that Milky Way. And now we're going to just pop those colors out just a bit more. Uh, so the first thing I do is I just kind of bring up the exposure just a bit so you can see that you don't want it to be too much, just enough to kind of start bringing that out. Then we're going to bump up the contrast as well. Uh, just to give it some more pop there. So that looks just about right to me. Then we'll want to bring up the whites again. Uh, we can just kind of eye that. I kind of like bringing them up just a touch. So you can see the Milky Way starting to pop a bunch more. And then the blacks we'll keep as is. We won't touch any of these other sliders here. Uh, and then I'll bring up bring down some of the sharpness just to reduce some of that noise. All right, so this looks pretty good to me. I can keep editing this, but I don't like to touch the image too much. Uh, so as you can see here, we have our Milky Way photo fully edited. Uh, we could keep adjusting as we want, um, but to me, this looks pretty good. If you notice here, this there is some noise. Uh, you can go to the sharpness section here uh, and you could bring down the sharpening here. Uh, so maybe we'll get into that really quickly. Uh, I'm going to bring up noise reduction just a touch. So you see there, that's kind of getting rid of some of that noise. Uh, we're going to bring detail up slightly and then contrast will bring that up a bunch. That should get rid of a bunch of that noise. Next, we'll also bring up color and then detail we could keep as is. Smoothness looks fine where it is. Uh, so for sharpening, I'm gonna just bring sharpening down, uh, maybe up to here. Uh, we could keep these sliders as is, and then we'll mask it. You can hold option, we'll mask it just to the dark areas, or rather to the light areas. Maybe right around there, just to get rid of some of that noise. All right, so this looks pretty good to me. Uh, again, this is done to your liking. So if you don't like a warm Milky Way, you can say punch up or maybe change your, your white balance slightly. Maybe you can, you know, skew it towards the blues. Uh, you can add a bit more red to it. So, you know, this looks also pretty good uh, to me, maybe right, a, right around there. So, um, you know, feel free to play around with this as you like. Uh, but this is kind of like the final uh, look of this Milky Way photo. And next, we're going to edit the foreground photo. And then we're going to be merging those in Photoshop. All right, guys. So as you can see here, we have a couple of exposures of the foreground. Uh, I'm just going to choose the best one. Uh, and I think I like this one the best. And what we'll do in Photoshop is we're, we're going to just blend this foreground image with the with these shots of the night sky. So in order to edit this, I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom in uh, just a bit. We don't really care what happens to the sky since we're just gonna get rid of that. Uh, but I'm just gonna go ahead and click on this auto button here. Uh, this is just gonna adjust things to look 
uh, as they should. Uh, but just let's remember that this is nighttime, so we don't have that much light. So I'm just going to go ahead and bring down some of these adjustments that were made. Uh, so the first thing we'll do is we'll bring down some of these uh, shadows. We'll probably bring them down to about there. Uh, we're also going to keep the highlights as they are. Uh, the whites we're going to also bring down slightly. Uh, and I'm also going to bring down the exposure just a bit. So yeah, let's just remember it is nighttime, so we don't want this photo looking like it was taken in the daytime. And then we're going to go down here again, just to remove chromatic aberration and enable uh, profile corrections. Looks like the photo is slightly bright. Uh, so some of that vignetting was removed and the distortion. Uh, so we're just going to pull down some of the shadows just a bit. Uh, just to make that look a little natural and I think I like how that looks we can probably even just bring down the exposure just a bit more I think this looks this looks about right all right guys so now that we have our images edited you can go ahead and right click here and then go to edit in and then edit in Photoshop uh, application. Uh, you could also just export the images yourself uh, and then open them up in Photoshop and then do the blending. So let's jump to Photoshop and let's see how that was done. All right, guys. So we have our images opened up in Photoshop. And as you can see here, we have one layer, which is the foreground image. And then we have the other layer, which is the, uh, the sky image. So these two are both the edited photos, and here we go. Uh, so the way that we blend these images in Photoshop is you'll want to arrange the images such that your sky image is above the, the, uh, the foreground image. Uh, you could do it vice versa. Uh, you'll just have to kind of reverse the steps that I'm doing. Um, so the way we do that is we'll hit on this top layer, which is the sky image, and then you're going to add a mask here this is called a layer mask and we're going to want to get use the brush tool um, you may want to make this uh, pretty big uh, since we're going to be coloring this in uh, and what a layer mask does is whatever is black in the layer mask will basically just be removed from the image so it's going to uh, pretty much make it transparent and show what's underneath it so we're going to paint over these black areas so we will have to change our the color of our brush to be black uh, and then we're just going to paint over these areas you don't have to be too clean with it just yet uh, we're going to go back and kind of fix that as we go along so as you can see here i'm just kind of going through this uh, painting it this is the easiest way to do it there's other ways to do it i'm just showing you the easiest way uh, to do it especially if you're kind of just starting off with this uh, so next, we're going to want to subtract uh, some of this. We're going to want to paint this in nicely. So I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in to the image here. Uh, and as you can see, this doesn't look too good. So I'm just going to subtract by changing the color back to white. And we're going to just color this in here. Uh, feel free to make your brush smaller if you'd like. I'm just going to go ahead and keep going with this size. Uh, so this is looking pretty good already. We'll keep painting this over here. And we'll move this over. Paint that. Make sure you kind of get rid of some of that white there. This is, again, this is just the easiest way to do it. And we'll pull this over, paint that, and this looks good to me. So let's go ahead and see what this looks like. This is the final shot uh, with a blend. Uh, you'll see the Bryce Canyon foreground here and the Astro shot above, nicely blended. And this looks like a pretty good image to me. 
So after this, you'll just go ahead and export the image and save that. And that is it. So guys, I hope this helps you edit your photos. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. If you have any tips, please also suggest them down below. And that's it. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.